23rd. Um, I just want to record my dream. It was... I don't remember all of it. I had to do it with my friend. And it's a friend that I'm, I'm connecting with today. Later this evening. Um, I reached out to him a couple days ago when I had to buy a new um, hard drive because I, I filled up the one I bought last year or over a year ago and I was surprised I was like wow that's a lot of content <laughs> and and so I, I took a stroll to Best Buy and, and bought I took a picture and I took the box of what I wanted to buy. I was like, I need another one of these. <laughs> I felt like an old lady. <laughs> like an older lady not knowing. I had a lot of questions. I was just like, um, because of the different options. And, oh, because I ended up buying another um, scan just for my, my thing, my ca camera. And then he was talking about, about these other ones difference in prices and then he was talking about the you know the however they distinguish the difference <laughs> memory or something no speed it was about speed and I was I was a little stopped like I felt I felt dumb <laughs> uh and I'm like well, what what do you mean what's the difference and I'm like I'm sorry I'm not getting it and then he's like showing me he's just like so imagine it's like this, and I was like, oh, and then I'm like, no, I'll, I'll, stick, I'll stick to the same. So it just, I felt, I felt like I didn't know what I was talking about, <laughs> because I don't, it's, it's, you know, it's this, this world is still, this new technology world is, is still um, something I'm getting used to. So I, I felt older, like, I'm like, mm, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so that happened. So, um, anyways, I thought of him because he's the one that actually went with me to Best Buy to buy all that stuff because, you know, that's that was his industry and, and I didn't know anything about cameras or, or you know, memory size or, or what I would need. Like, he, he helped me set up the YouTube channel, like he he helped me, kind of just just get that jump start because I didn't know what was going on in my life, so it was it was good to, it was good to have him there. The challenge was when I wanted there was this pull within me. I'm like I need a post, I need a post, and I remember I'd come across a few conflicts, and um. A few conflicts and, and I got triggered by him and and then I, I know I triggered him he hasn't admitted it but I know I triggered him and we took a break from each other for a little bit so anyways my dream was about him and then we were fine after that like I was just I just you know I had a few dreams about him I remember those dreams too because I remember being shocked in the emotional response that I had of him in those dreams, I was like, whoa. Um, yeah. I had never had a dream of, like that about him. Um, and it was about control. It was about control in that dream. It was about control. And, and that I was trying to not be controlled. Um, and there was this overpowering energy that he was... Um, presenting with and I remember I was just like I don't like that feeling and it happened to be when we were when I had spoken up I had spoken up but I ended up triggering him but anyways so he was in my dream I hadn't dreamt of him since that time um since that time really and so it's just interesting that I mean I, I didn't go to bed thinking about him and and um I dreamt of him and I dreamt of my ex so um my ex and I, I mean, we're, and, and him and my friend, childhood friend that I've known 
Because we were, what, four, 14? Yeah, we were 14. He was 13, I think. I was 14. Or no, we were the same age. Um, so I've known him since, since I was 14. Um, he's been, he's always been like my confidant. Like I, I, I tell him anything, like anything and everything. I just, I tell him. So anyways, um, I reached out to him when I went to go buy all this stuff and just thinking about him and, and how far I've come with learning how to do a lot of this stuff on my own and and I was determined to like try to figure out but I had sent him a text I'm like hey I was thinking of you and this would happen and, and I was already I had already looked up how to format my hard drive or whatever and and <laughs> and, and and so anyways I reached out to him and then he he's like I was just thinking about you and I was gonna reach out too and he's like wow that's so cool and so I'm telling him like what triggered the memory and, and he asked me if if um, I needed help. I said, no, I think I got it because I did. I, I had it and then I ended up coming up bump and I'm like, well, actually, um, since you offered, right? And I, he's he's a great, great guy. Like, I mean, talk about a heart of service. Th this guy's it. Um, and, and so I said, I was going good and, and then I had this bump so he helped me gave me some good reminders and I'm being more mindful but anyway I was just like let's connect I haven't talked to you I haven't um I haven't talked to you in like a long time I didn't see him this last time that I went back home to see family for the holidays so but we're gonna zoom uh tonight so anyways, I dreamt of him. Um, in my dream, I don't remember which scene came first. He rides a motorcycle. I was on the motorcycle and he was going fast, but unexpectedly fast. And he was turning and somehow I ended up underneath him and I was holding on and there's this I was like, whoa, like this, we're going so fast. I didn't have a helmet on. I didn't have anything on, but he was going really fast. And I was trying to catch his attention. Like, hey, you're going too fast. And, and, and so like I could see us uh, turning. He's getting off the freeway when he's, and he, but he's turning really, really fast. And so I'm, I'm trying to get his attention to let him know. We're at um, our chat where we, one of the places where we first met. So uh, we have a mutual friend. That's how we ended up meeting. We have a mutual friend and they grew up together. They've known each other since they were babies because um, my friend's parents are his, Nino and Nina. And my friend's parents are like, kind of like my second parents in high school. In high school I had second parents. And this was the family that I stayed in during the last two years of high school when I decided to transfer out of the more affluent high school to back to my hometown. Um, but because we didn't live there, there was a 30 minute difference drive time. Um, my dad would wake me up or I'd wake up, um, you know, he would have to wake up at 4 a.m. or leave at four, I think. So I had to wake up early to get ready to go with my dad because he was going to work in LA. He would drop me off at their home. And so for high school, the last two years, they were kind of like my substitute parents. I get there early, I'd sleep there, I'd have breakfast there. I'd come home there um, after school, have dinner there. And then my dad would pick me up as soon as he was done. Um, and it was like that for the first, for that full year. And even after that, the second, the my senior year, my brother eventually learned how to drive. So then, and he wanted to go to that high school too. Like he had, he had tried it, um, the other school also for two years, but he followed in my footsteps. And, and so we both ended up going and graduating from the same high school. And um, so by my senior year, his junior year, we just commuted because my brother knew how to drive. 
Um, but anyway, so his parent, his, his Nino and Nina are my high school parents. I call them my high school parents. But we were, we were, there was this feeling of him needing to go home, needing to go home. Like he needed to do his healing. There was a feeling of healing. It was kind of blurry. There was this feeling of, of healing or, or childhood. This this feeling of childhood. And I'm seeing him. And, and he's needing to go home. He's needing to go back. He's needing to go back. And, and the two homes that pop up when he's, he's communicating that to me somehow, right? That he's needing to go back. I see his childhood home, his, his home where his, his immediate family lives, because I've been there too. And then Nino Nina's, his Nino Nina's um, home. So both were, were childhood homes because these were homes where we, we hung out in, in these homes. And um, so there was this, so I'm seeing him and there's this communication going on between us where he's telling me he's needing to go back. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it as more of like this childhood needing to go back. And he needs a right, that's what it was. He needed a right to go back home. He needed, and so which tripped me out because in the first scene he's going so fast and I'm like latching on like, hey, you're going too fast. <laughs> and I'm trying to get his attention that he's going too fast. Um, he's going too fast and he's exiting the freeway too fast. And then I see him without transportation, without his bike. And then I see the two homes and, and he's like, he needs to go back home. He needs, he needs to ride back to his childhood. So he's asking for help. So there's that scene. There's a scene with my ex after that scene because I'm talking to my ex about it. Like he needs he needs a ride. <laughs> he needs a ride. And 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 but I'm telling my ex this, he's needing a ride. And my ex is um he's an he's an electrician. In this dream he's an electrician. Cause I, I'm seeing him like do this electrician stuff. Oh, that's neat. So it must be in the future, maybe. Because he's going to school to be an electrician. My ex right now. So in my dream, he's 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 at a work site. <laughs> he's dealing with electricity. And I'm talking to him about this mutual friend of ours, right? I mean, it was more my friend first. And then my ex's friend. And, um... Although, actually, now that I think about it, it's only a couple years off, really. So, so he's been in our, it's only, a, uh, I mean, my ex and I started dating when I was 17, going on, I'm sorry, like 18. That's when he met us, so only a couple years off. No, look at five years. Anyways, so I'm telling my ex that our friend is needing a ride back home, but which home I don't know, because both homes, childhood homes, popped up, and we're just talking about it, trying to figure out how we were gonna get him, how we were gonna get him home. And then there's this other scene where I'm arriving to this school. It's an elementary school. It's an elementary school. There's something about the elementary school. I don't remember. I can just see the entrance and, and everyone's outside. I don't, I don't remember the connection to it, but I just want to share that part of the dream that stood out that I dreamt about my friend that I'm seeing today, and I'm wondering what that's about. It was hard to find a connection to it. 
I slept really late. Like, I slept like at 1 again. So I was trying to finish my notes. Um, because I have a training today. There's a training today. And um, I need to log on for that too. Um, and... Um, Training until 1.30. Oh, so I just, I just, I didn't want to have work because I still have homework. And, um, and I, I need to work on my videos for the other YouTube channel and just, I have stuff to do, so. Anyways, I just want to record that. Alright, bye. Hi, my name is Yubi and in case you haven't figured it out, this footage is capturing my experience as I learn to navigate my personal spiritual awakening. Um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us. Um, in whatever way we believe we are embracing living our truth, this just happens to be my journey. Um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button, you know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node um, uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at um, inspired by this process and journey. Um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel. So you're more than welcome to check those items out. Um, any type of support is you know, great. <laughs> um, again, if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful, sometimes when we um, take that step and, and, and be vulnerable, you know, with, with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth, we realize that we're much more connected um, than, than what we felt we were. And so um, I hope that um, as I'm living this experience and, and that you find some type of truth for yourself or, or find some type of um, ability to heal in some way just by relieving, you know, just just by knowing that you're not alone. That really has been my goal with, with this process, um, not just um, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So I thank you and um, I wish you all the best and you know we'll see what else um, comes next for me so